Never shoot. Alright, they can attack her. It's also pretty sad that they try to one shot. Let's see. Uh, dude, the encounter rate in here is insane. Oh my goodness. I won't be afraid. Just do an all out attack then and again I, I i i just moved the arm malfunction nice Megaton Scepter. Sounds like a pretty busted weapon, but we didn't get it, of course. Can I please? Alright, so we need to get my wand. Or not. I think if everybody moves here, perfect, perfect. See, sometimes the best tactics, tactic is to just stand still. Game, 
Think you can catch me? Try using your brain a little. Raquel's about to level up, which is nice. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, it gets put out whenever. Okay. Oh, no counterattack, Pog. Time to react. Right. 
No, damn it, of course. The tile I'm not on. I didn't even see the other two books there. I've got to see for myself what I can accomplish. Just a Potion berry get. Arno leveled up. Julie and Seal need to level up now. Wait, does that charge? Yeah, I was gonna say it should charge. Get rid of. All right. If only that was a lethal attack, but it's fine. Bring it on. The Dowpool's playing uh, Persona 5, and uh, you know you're gonna have to go through every single one of those lockers. This should be interesting. Yeah, you have to look through every one. Just kidding. But uh, yeah, I will hear later. How about here? 
Oh wait, I don't know why I'm carrying here. I hate this place. Holy hell. Some Yuli leveled up. Oh, you want to also know I found on that old computer now? My old videos of like Dark Cloud and stuff. Yeah. I probably I probably will upload them. I got I'm gonna I think what I need to do is I just need to buy a flash drive and just move stuff over. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't mind all these enemy encounters. But, uh, it'd be nice to make some progress. Counter attack again, Raquel. Oh, Wait, what? What new thing did I learn? Something? Rousing strike. Seems pretty cool. Gunstar sign. Of course we miss another piece of thing that like item that we could use. Hey. I just got out of a fight. Holy crap. I don't have anything. Nothing. I guess I'm just gonna pop that one. Oh, good, we got a counterattack. Nice dodge. Uh, you're better off just defending. You need to die. Defend. Then I can hit. Wait a minute. 
Why did his arm change over to the... I'm so confused. Hey, another lucky card. Um... Okay, no, we need to go through that door we just came in. Like, we just... Yeah, okay. Jesus. I might actually kill. Oh boy. Uh. And of course, it malfunctioned again. Okay, so you need to move here. Attack this. You can shoot this. Yoli can heal you. I guess I'm out of danger, but I'm ready to go. Uh, there goes all of my revived fruits again. It really sucks when she dies. I, I probably should have just let her die, but whatever. Battle start. Not a dragon fall, so I needed that. Damn it. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that?
Hmm. Alright, so so Here's what we're gonna do. This motherfucker is literally putting poison. We're clearly gonna have to just fight in poison. Where to go? Well, okay, let's see what I can do. Nice dodge, let's go. Okay, all right, we're fine. Fine. Oh, I'm still okay. Yuli's gonna die if we're not careful. All right, we're good. Okay, good. There's no more poison effect here. No way I'm gonna lose. Why do you get to attack twice? Wait, three times? Oh my god. Let's do this combined attack and see what happens. That's pretty cool. What the heck was that? Yeah, they manipulated genes and sought to evolve life into new forms. The evolutionary mutant that attacked us just now was an unnatural life form. It was created by twisting other pre-existing life forms into something new. Some form of previously existing life forms? You mean like animals or insects? Or you can't mean... Hmm, the facility took in quite a large number of children. Bitter medicines, the intense pain from immune and rejection, the isolated operating table on which I had spent so much time. 
That's what my days were like, and as time passed, all my friends disappeared, one by one. Now that the facility is closed, even the children that were left there probably... Don't cry, Yuli. I'm leaving so that I can better protect you, alright? So please stop crying, okay? And it's not just you. I'm going to protect the entire world. I'm going to assure a future in which everyone can live in peace. I have to go now, so please don't cry. I'd like to hear you sing, like you always used to do. If you sing for me, I won't feel so I won't feel lonely either. So please, Yuli. Yuli, what's wrong? You're spacing out. I, I'm sorry. I was just remembering some things that happened a long time ago. And now we're back to our daily scheduled program of awful enemy encounters. Oh, they're all grouped together. Please stay. That was... Why can't all fights be like that? I'll just move over here, it's fine. After much research, experiments using virus-sized microscopic machines began to directly manipulate DNA began. They had finally come to testing artificial viral evolution. The inborn characteristics of each individual test subject probably affected the results. An extremely small number of cases were identified as successes. Those included my older brother, the 19 other children who remained, and me. Your older brother? What happened to you and your brother after all? Technically, the experiment was a success, but no one was able to provide the results the adults were looking for. I was categorized as a B plus. The other children were all categorized as Fs or lower. In other words, despite everything they did to our bodies, those adults decided we were defective. Defective? They treated you? You mean they treated people like objects? In this place, people, lives, they're all just test subjects. My brother was WG919F. I was WG920B+. Those ID codes were the only identities we had.
did was lend my strength to beautiful bonds of friendship. Okay, I will be right back, chat. Okay. Mm, let's see. Ayo. At least we found a save point, so that's a plus. It'd be rude if I didn't return the favor. I'll get it you. You fall this way. Let's see now. Oh god, he moves everybody? I did not know that. Time to say goodbye. No, we were so close. No. Uh, that'll allow me to turn encounters on and off. Forgot that's a thing. Huh. 
Oh, please let me get a turn. Thank you. I don't know what you're saying, Raquel, but keep up the good work, I guess. Character. Curious to know how to get that treasure chest now. Can I have a turn first? Thank you. And another lucky card. I will take all of those. I don't understand. Was evolution so important to them that they had to do those horrible things to you? The evolution itself was just a likely means to an end. Their goal was probably to gain something from its success. Do you know what that something was, Yuli? It... it's... If you don't want them to say it, perhaps I should tell them for you. You! You're that... Did you follow us? What? Did you think you could get rid of me that easily? I'm a lieutenant of the Brionic forces. I can't just go back with my tail tucked between my legs after losing to a bunch of kids. The Brionic forces? Is that what you people chasing after Yuli call yourselves? Were you also the ones who built this facility and did those terrible things to Yuli? No, stupid. Brionic doesn't do stuff like that. This is an artificial evolution lab which the Congressional Knights controlled during the war. They chose the path of evolution in their search for a way to mass-produce heroes. Basically, they wanted to create human weapons that could help them win the war. Mass-produce heroes? Weapons to win the war? Surely you've heard of Hauser, haven't you? He was the Black Reaper of the Global Union. The goal of the research that took place here was to create artificial gene drivers or people with armed capability. Their objective was to mass-produce heroes who were equal in power to Hauser himself. So many tears and so much blood was shed in this place. And yet, after all that, not a single one of us ever displayed complete arm compatibility. That's why these terrible experiments were abandoned and the facility was closed down. Yeah, that may be so, but... There is a gene driver right here. A human weapon. What? Me? The facility's databanks have no record of your existence. You're not a product of any experiments that took place here. In other words, you're a natural-born gene, gene driver. That can't be. Are you saying I was born with this power? This power they couldn't obtain even by doing all those terrible things to Yuli and her brother? Are you saying that my powers, that it's the power to control arms? Right you are, a heroic wonder kind who's got the power to control arms. <laughs> now this is getting interesting. What's so funny? There's nothing funny about it. Look, kid, I've got a job to do. I have to take this girl into custody. So tell me what you want to do. My order said nothing about you. So if you want to run and hide, I'm not going to come after you. D Dude, come on. My arm is the very power they wanted for the war. This thing is the reason why Yuli was made to suffer. Yet despite that, I'm going to use this power to protect Yuli. I promised her I would. Another boss fight. We're already getting clapped by books. I've been waiting for this moment. After all, I've got a score to settle with you and your arm. 
You'd fight for such little reason? No wonder the war won't end. Jeremy's special ability, Inertial Canceler, not only allows him to cancel reaction to an action, but also takes another action on top of that. As such, Jeremy's actions are not to be determined by the battle turn order, so it's best to proceed with caution. Feed it, kid. Vulcan Missile No, okay, good, he's not moving. The fact that he can double attack is bullshit. Oh, son of a bitch, he's gonna kill her. I kind of just want to die so I can restart the fight. Oh, we can. Yo, what's up? Wait a minute. Oh, there it goes. Okay. All right, let me see. Oh, no. It's been so long since I've done a... Dallas is uh, in a, uh, Kaneshiro's palace. Which is the the bank, if uh, you remember? Yeah, Makoto's dungeon. Hmm, this isn't good already. If he attacks, if she dies, I'm just gonna run every. Yep, I'm just running everybody into him. <laughs> and we'll restart this fight once again. I need RNG to not have him move over to Rebecca or Raquel's tile.
Okay, go somewhere else. Thank you. It's better than before. Trying to think what I can do here. Oh my god, Devin, that's a lot. <laughs> I wanna help everyone. All right, let's just test this. What will happen if I hit protect? Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Okay. She's... Yes, attack somebody other than her for once. Like, god damn. Okay, this still could be bad. Could still be very bad. Maybe get the, just the essentials for historic, like thought seizes, stuff like that. I don't know. Look up some historic decks and just get the wild cards for that. That's what I would do. Um. Okay, I don't want her to die. Oh, the stream just had a heart attack, didn't it? <laughs> Let's finish it before I get hurt again. Oh, you do have the thought seize is nice. Don't make me laugh. I've been very unlucky in getting like multiples of the same. Uh... Yeah, like I, I've I've literally pulled probably six or seven and approached the second suns at this point. Yeah. Alright, time to use our last potion berry. No way I'm gonna lose. I mean, you shouldn't need that many. Uh, didn't need that many wild cards for Phoenix. All right, Yoli's gonna die, and I'm still gonna be pissed because I can't. I'm gonna die again. Oh, well, that's only four rare wild cards you need. Oh, shit, that's right. Brainstorm is a rare. I'll support you. Cut them in two with your sword. It may not be the best idea, but it sounds like it's worth a try. Genocide edge. What? My motions are without end. Let's get this party started. Now I strike. We'll take them head on. If this doesn't if this does not kill this boss i'm in trouble and i'm just gonna die all right good he's dead how can i lose what the no freaking way 
Now you better leave Yuli alone! Well, Yuli's gonna still be useless, like, probably through the entire game still. Uh, Phoenix sideboard is mostly all in commons. Now I'm gonna... Dude, stop. Don't go rushing in. Gotcha. I was just bluffing. Oh, yeah, but Storm. I don't know. Look at the user submitted decks and, and take a look at. See if there's a Storm deck. Don't get cocky, you little brat. Ah, oh, my stream is dying. You may be an arm user just like Hauser, but there's no way I'm gonna let some kid get the best of me. Oh, maybe it's not. I don't know. It probably might be blurry as shit too. My, my, what noble and selfless spirit you have. It only serves to annoy me. Little girl, bet you think I won't pull the trigger, huh? Jeez, this whole thing is such a pain. Screw this. I'm just gonna kill y'all. Please, just pull. Oh, shit! What do you think you're doing? Huh? It can't be. But there's no way I'd mistake him for another. Why is my brother Kresnik here? You say brother? Ah, now it all makes sense. You volunteered to keep an eye on me so that you could watch over your dear little sister from the shadows, huh? Are you betraying Brionic? Huh, Kresnik? The only traitor here is you, Jeremy. Remember the highest priority of this mission is to secure the target, Yuli Atriide, completely unharmed. Or had you forgotten? You're always so damned serious about everything. It looks like there's a lot going on here, but this is our chance. Run for it. Run where? Anywhere, as far from here as possible. Sorry, Yuli, but your tearful reunion will have to wait. One thing this Wild Arm game does over the other three is that you don't have to wait like 20, 30 hours before the story just starts getting all these plot points. Like that same area we just learned that Yuli had a brother and they haven't seen each other in years since the orphanage that we were just in. And then now all of a sudden like the brother just comes up out of nowhere. <laughs> like they literally just like wasted no time. We've received a transmission from the Eulalia. They've successfully secured the girl and are now en route to guard the Leon. Just as planned. That's our oxed. Well, we got the fan service character already. No, it was the captain's ability we have to thank. After all, Blue Destiny allowed us to see into the future and know that the children would take this path in their search for their roots. As advisor, I merely analyzed the captain's data and drew up what I thought the best plan. Ew, they made Weather the Storm a rare? <laughs> what? No way. Why? Yeah, I knew Inquisition was a rare, and that's fine. But Weather the Storm, which was, what, a common? I'm trying to find it right now, but I apparently don't know how to spell weather properly. Yeah, it's a fucking common. I do not possess superhuman powers as you all do. So unimpressive though as it may be, my only means to carry out assignments is to use the information I obtained to build plans piece by piece. Yes, Bionic is a collection of people with superhuman abilities. That's exactly why we need someone like yourself. 
Without some normalcy to light our way, it would be difficult for us to remain standing on a battlefield filled with darkness. Oh, just look at how he needs you. I'm so jealous. Now, Oxed, things are about to get busy. The work of excavating the divine weapon is nearing completion, and once we assemble the keys to unlock its seal, the High Council's future conception project can be put into motion. Light will shine once again upon this dying world. But will that proje project really bring light to Phil Gaia? You couldn't see it into the future of the High Council members, right? That is correct. However, even if I cannot see into their future, I believe that we can work together towards the same goals and proceed forward together. Just as you and I, though our thoughts may be different, are able to walk the same path. Yes, as for me, I don't care what kind of world it is, as long as you're there. I'll follow you anywhere, for the world you exist in is where I want to be. Wow, how cute. <laughs> Commander Farmel, you're not trying to keep the captain all to yourself, are you? We can't have any of that, you know. I hope you'll share with him. Hope you'll share him with me for at least a good portion of each day. Are you serious? Of course not. I'm only joking. But please do not forget the captain is essential in the world to come. Your jokes are as difficult as to fathom as ever. Ox, continue to maintain communications with Ulalia, will you? Yes, sir. After all, the mission can't be considered to be complete until everyone has returned safely to base. You sound like you're you're talking about a field trip. I checked the door we came through, but it's locked. So doesn't that mean the guy can't come after us? <laughs> Always looking at the bright side, aren't you, kid? It also means we're trapped in here. Uh, I'm not sure why. Oh, yeah. Whoa, what the? An earthquake? No, it's... Great. It looks like we walked into a moving trap. Run, bitch! Ah, uh, yes, early 2000 voice acting. My favorite. The means to shape the future. And to think we once opposed this line of thought. It has been a long journey indeed to reach this point. Some truths can only be seen from afar. The people are so ignorant, and their ignorance serves only to cloud the future of our world. Yet we shall burn all of those clouds away. Democracy cannot illuminate the future, for only the chosen ones are able to do that. Oh, that's right, that's a vampire guy who uses his girlfriend as like literally a, a meat supply. <laughs> Little weirdo. Leaders of the future. We who are worthy to govern that future. We have the wisdom. We have the power. There is but one thing we still lack. That's kind of hot. It is a unique uh, character design. Weird shit going on, let me tell you.
To think we had to take Yuli away from her brother right after they found one another. What is it, Arno? Are you what are you up to? Are you thinking of a way for us to escape from here? Yes, of course I am, but Well, it's really minor, but there's something that's bugging me. I feel like the facts aren't adding up, and it's making the truth difficult to see. The facts? And what truth? That guy. Jeremy, wasn't it? He said that the facility where Yuli grew up was researching artificial evolution in order to mass produce gene drivers with ARM compatibility. And that Jude wasn't a product of that research, but rather a natural born gene driver. Wait. Exactly. Simply put, why are they after Yuli rather than Jude, who is a complete version of what they are trying to create? There's more than one type of genetic ARM compatibility. My ability doesn't allow me to control arms directly, but I can interact with arms that are already active and adjust our con or control them. For example, my ability to perform material drives on the Guardian programs is an application of that ability. How does that work? I don't know the exact details myself. Apparently, I can artificially control natural phenomena via microscopic arm devices which are distributed throughout the land and air. Localized weather control? No, it's got to be something more sinister than that. Perhaps some kind of meteorological weapon? Do you get what he's talking about? I understand that we should definitely leave Arno in charge of the thinking from now on. Yuli's power. The material drives on the Guardian programs are certainly impressive, but if power, if power were their only concern, they'd be interested in Jude as well. It sounds like power isn't the only thing they're after. There may be a hidden truth lurking between the facts and the real reason why they're after Yuli. Who cares? Their motive doesn't matter. Even I know that much. Protecting Yuli is what's important. If we're going to do that, we'll need to escape from here. That means there's only one thing for us to do. We give up. It's all over. You think you can solve everything by rushing headlong into action, don't you? Kids, I tell ya. Aerial fortress? We're in the fortress. Hello? Oh wait, I don't know why I'm crouching. Mm. <laughs> let's see, let's go up here. Can I double jump up there? No. Alrighty, I am probably gonna stop it here uh, Cuz Dal and I are getting hungry, so we're probably gonna make something to eat uh, I'll probably try to play this game as much as I can throughout the week just to get it as far as I can uh, That's cool monster, but uh Devin I can hop in discord for a few minutes while making food, so I will talk to everybody later. We'll see ya